Sometimes you'll come across a program that's especially sneaky when you're trying to get it onto a knob for Beacon Mix Create or onto the advanced mixing for Beacon Mic. Now I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna take a look here at my mixer and I've got system and game right next to each other for a reason here. Okay, let's take a look at Diablo 4. Now Diablo 4 is making sound right now. It's coming through system and when it's active, I can see it on my system knob on Beacon Mix Create's screen. But when I click to Beacon Mix Create's application, all of a sudden it's gone. There's no sound being made. And I want it on my game knob, but I can't see it. Like, where is it? Diablo 4 is operating as a windowed program, which means it's sitting in a layer as a window. And as soon as it's not the top layer and it goes back behind something else, it becomes not the focus and the sound stops playing. So if you actually notice, if I go back and forth here, I'm going to go to Diablo really quick. Then I'm going to come back. And if you look right where the system knob is there, you're going to see Diablo 4 for a second and then it's gone. So really quick. Ready? So here it is. It's there and it's gone. Okay. Now, in order to make that move, we, you might go into Diablo 4 and say, well, I'm going to change the default output device to game. That'll solve my problem. So I'll hit save changes here. And now I'll go back into the Beacon app there. And now you'll see something even different. So back in the Beacon app, you're going to look at game area here is going to not have Diablo 4. It's still going to be over here, but the audio is going to be coming through these meters. So watch, we'll go back and forth really quick. So here you go, looking for both the meters okay, and the output. You see that? So it was coming through for a sec. You could actually hear it there. Listen, it's kind of in the background and there's the meters, but it's in the wrong place. Well, it's because Diablo's not assigning things the way we want to. So we're going to go back and we're going to change things to default. Okay. And then we hear it go away again. We're going to hit save changes. The key to this is nothing to do with the devices. It's all about selecting play in background for the sound. And what happens then is when the window for the program isn't the one that's right in front, if it's back here, it will still stream audio, which means you can still see it in Beacon app, which means you can still drag it from place to place. So we're going to hit save changes. I'm now going to go into Beacon app and you'll see, lo and behold, Diablo 4 is there and it's playing. I'm going to mute these two so you don't hear them as well. And I can take it and I can drag it and drop it. And it goes onto the right knob. It looks the right way on my screen and I'm all finished. So just a little trick there that if there's any program, it might be called sound in background. It might be called a sound like, well, not focused or sound in windowed mode, or I mean, there's any kind of number, but it's going to be generally a tick box. There's no values to it other than yes or no. You want it to stream that sound in the background so that you can see it there when you go to your application and then you can drag things around. So hope that helps because it's a lot easier once you can get it right there.